Braking systems are among the most critically important and technically challenging aspects of any vehicle. Today both OEMs and their suppliers are facing more intense pressure from their customers and clients than ever before. This is why Fisita, the world body for automotive engineers, established Eurobrake. This all-new conference took place in the German city of Dresden in April 2012. It combined first-class technical presentations and exhibits with unrivaled networking opportunities for more than 650 participants from all over the world. The paradigm shift in braking technology requires a close cooperation among all involved business units, enabling us to combine our expertise in electrical engines and friction braking devices. I was very surprised by the big number of participants and the big number of renowned companies here in the exhibition. No one really could foresee this huge success. Our industry needs to find solutions for the new propulsion technologies like e-mobility. Here is where we are looking for interactivity between electric engines and conventional friction brake for example. These are the major challenges for the future. In the session Brake Mechatronics I saw three major topics. One of them was the introduction of new technologies into the car like electric in-wheel engines that are already on the road. A second example was the electromechanical wedge brake which also is slowly entering into serial production. And finally we saw a theoretical approach to urgent questions concerning signal safety of future systems and the development of new algorithms. Uh, and clearly at the moment the future direction of electric brakes is probably open. It's not clear which type of technology is going to win and be most popular in the future. First conference, I think it's going very well. Um, it's good to see Europe getting together and pulling the various uh, uh, regions um, and the separate uh, conferences that we used to have into what is a much more effective, um, I believe, uh, conference. Uh, it's going to be much more useful for engineers throughout Europe. Uh, the content's been good, there's a lot of papers, there's uh, an amazing amount of people here, I'm very surprised and uh, looking forward to next year where we'll have probably a larger presence from ourselves to, uh, to make the most of it. Today's plenary session has shown that this Eurobreak 2012 contributes a lot to the exchange of technology and know-how of the different vehicle groups like passenger cars, railway and commercial vehicles. We learned a lot about the challenges that both OEMs and suppliers are confronted with. On the one hand we talked about safety and on the other hand about comfort requirements that will have impact on future braking systems. I was very optimistic but all my expectations were exceeded by far. So we never expected that we would jump to such a high number of exhibitors and, uh, and attendees. So I think we have a new chapter in Europe. So and we believe we still can grow. You must understand not only for passenger cars, for rail and for commercial vehicles, Europe is a technology center worldwide for these brakes. And so I'm rather confident for the future. So I really wanted to look at what are the technology drivers there, what are the effects of environmental legislation, what's happening because our customers require different technical solutions, and then lastly that whole uh, commercial supply chain um, environment where we're seeing markets like China and India and South America become tremendously important and where we're looking at new, new markets emerging with new suppliers and new customers in those regions, but also our existing European customers are moving into those regions in a big way. And that all has implications for us as a friction material manufacturer and hence for the industry as a whole. I mean, it's a tremendous uh, attendance here, over 600 people I understand, and gala dinner sold out. When did you ever go to a conference where that happened? So I think that demonstrates there's a real desire for this type of conference in Europe and, and I think uh, there's still a huge amount of engineering development and uh, progress being made in Europe as part of the global automotive market. So this conference is really filling that gap for braking. So I'm, I'm really pleased uh, to be here and to be a supporter of the uh, activity.